<laughs> okay, we're live. All right, so this is the second in a series of videos. Um, the first one, we determine what the limiting reactant is. And now we're going to use that information to find out the moles or the grams of excess reactant. Um, so um, hopefully, if you haven't gone back to watch the first video, you're going to have to do that in order to get the answer that we're going to be using in this video. All right, so here we go. In the last video, we determined that copper sulfate, in this case, is the limiting reactant. So this will not be an excess, unlike your lab. Uh, and we determined that um, from this reaction, 0 .0 0 0.0261 moles of copper are going to be produced in this reaction. All right? And so the question is, um, how much excess reactant do we have? And we can determine the moles of this and then go on to do the grams quite easily. You're actually going to start with the actual moles of product that you get. So we determined from the last video, this is how many moles you're going to get. And obviously it's easy to go to grams from here too, by the way. But anyway, what we're going to do to determine how much extra iron we're going to have left over, well, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is just pull out our mole ratio you're going to realize that 3 moles of copper is going to react with 2 moles of iron. Iron is in excess. We determined this the last video. And so when you do the math here, you realize that This is the number of moles of iron that you're going to get to react with this copper. Now, if you were given moles initially, you'd do a simple subtraction, but we can't really do, I mean, we, we can't do that. We can determine how many moles this is and then subtract, but likely what the question is going to ask for is, how many more grams do we have than we need? We know we don't need all 7.54 grams. So now what we need to do is take these, this moles, these moles of iron and turn them into grams. And we've done this a thousand times by using the atomic mass. So here we go. We're going to bring this back 0 0.0174 moles of iron. All right, and we know from the periodic table that there are 55.85 grams of iron in one mole of iron. Sorry. And when you do the math, you get 0 0.972 grams of iron. So that's how many grams of iron are going to need to complete, or are, are going to be made in this reaction. Or, excuse me, are going to be necessary to complete this reaction, right? We need 0.972, and we have 7.54. So to determine the excess, all you're going to do is take 7.54, subtract 0.972 grams, and that will tell you how much extra you have. And when you do the math, it's 6.57 grams. So when you take this number, which is how many grams you have, minus this number, which is how many grams you need, you're going to get the grams of excess. And like I said earlier, if you were given moles, you would subtract moles and be able to answer the same question. The key to this whole problem is determining how many moles of product that you're going to get from this reaction. And if you're curious how we got this number, it's the video before.